All right, all right, all right. Okay. I'm trying something new. Turn this on. Okay, now we're trying something new. I have the Osmo Pocket 3 on the handlebars. Well, not on the handlebars, but over there on the, uh, that thing. And... We are recording, recording, and I'm going to try it up there on the uh, deck there. Let's see what happens. Hoping the Accutrack will do what I need it to do. Phone connected. Or why not? I don't use the camera all the time. I'll well use it now. Hope it keeps track of my helmet. Okay. So, here we be, November 6th, 2024, and we have, as we all knew we would, a new president, because no matter who you care to vote for, and I don't give a shit who you voted for, this is not what this video is about, we all knew no matter what we'd be coming out of this with a new president, because Biden was out, so it was either going to be Harris or it was going to be Trump, and it ended up being Trump, it looks like. So, congratulations to him. And to anyone out there who doesn't care or is upset, I'm sorry, piss and moan to someone else. I feel like money. I feel like I have music playing in the background. Because, unfortunately, that's the way elections go. Your person doesn't always win, or your person may win, but it's just the way it is. But his acceptance speech... I'm not big on watching acceptance speeches, acceptance speeches, blah, because I can't speak well enough to have one myself. Probably talking too loud. Anyways, parts of it, I didn't listen to all of it, but parts of it were hilarious. I don't care what you think, but as far as my viewpoint, wow, talk about not giving a shit. Just push the trash can across the road and fling it, dickhead. That's pretty... Well, anyways, what was I saying? Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> he should have been a stand-up comedian. Oh, God, how did I get lucky enough to get time to trash? Let's uh, put this on hold until we get past the dumpster here. It's probably going to make me late to work. So whichever way they go, we're going the opposite. I can tell you that right now. Oh my god, this is horrible. We're almost out of houses. This is fun. Are you enjoying the scenery? I am. It's great. So we should be out of houses now, except for maybe one more on the left up here. So we'll either be turning left or we'll be going straight, because I'm not following this guy all the way around. Something sucks. I don't know what the sign said. It's unusual to see a garbage truck nowadays where the person actually has to get off and dump it. Generally, it ain't longer anymore. It's, um... The truck goes down his little arm and comes out and grabs it, so... Dude, she's different. It must be a side company garbage company or something. Seems to be tracking my face well. Yeah, I like it. it. Might be my new thing if all the video turns out. Might be a little vibrating. Not a bad day out yesterday. It was windier and hell and raining. And we are going loud. Nope, we are going straight. So we're not following them anymore. Okay. So, his acceptance speech. What happened? Oh my god, I never pushed the record button. <laughs> Alright, hold on, we gotta pull over for a minute. That's hilarious. I never hit the record button on the DJI, so none of that footage is, is there. Not that there's anything really to look at. That's funny. I forgot to hit the red button. Please hold while I get my shit together. Oh, 
embarrassing. spot to pull over for a second. that shit in there so anyways he did this <laughs> he did part of his acceptance speech Donald Trump missed his calling he should have been a stand-up comedian I swear some of the shit that man says and the way he explains things and looks around and does different shit cracks me up so he's up there and he's talking about Elon Musk and how you know how brilliant it is and he is a very smart individual I'm not uh, denying that, but he talks about this damn rocket, and he goes, so, so I'm on the phone, and I'm talking to this very important person, say, I'm talking to him, and he's very important, he's like, he's in this room, he's right there. I got a terrible impersonation of it, so forgive me. He goes, and I'm looking at the TV, I have them mute, and I see this rocket coming in, and I'm like, Whoa, I don't know, you know, something like, I don't know how it's going to land, it's going to crash. So I tell the guy, I got to put him on hold, because I was the president once, I'm a pretty important, I think I'm over to put some on hold. So I see this rocket coming in, and it's coming down, I'm like, there's no way it's going to land, right? And then the gantry comes down and puts his arms around this thing, like a mama holding a baby. And then it wrapped those arms around it, and it held it, and just like you hold your baby at night, your little baby... And it lands, it comes down perfect. And I say, who else could do that besides Elon Musk? Can China do it? Can Russia do it? No, no. Can the United States do it? No, but Elon Musk can. See, and I called Elon. I said, Elon, was that you? He said, yes, it was. I said, who else can do that? Can Russia do it? No. Can China do it? No. Can the United States do it other than you? No. Nobody can do that. I said, that's why I love you, Elon. That's great. And just the way he explains it cracks me up. No matter what you think of the man. And I'm not doing it justice by any means. Because I can't do an impersonation of anybody because I'm not good at that. But, oh my god. But anyways. So, we now have made a history-making moment in the United States. Where the 45th president, who was voted out of office in 2020 is now back in office in 2021, 2025, sorry, as the 47th president, and who will be the oldest sitting president by the time he's out, I do believe, because I think he'll be older than Biden when he gets out, right? Because Biden's in his 80s now, and Trump's 78, 79, I think he's 78, going on 79 in June or something like that, I asked Echo, and Echo told me this. It's just slow driver day. So, yeah, it's going to be, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, uh, be interested to see what we got in four years. I don't watch the news much. I'm not much of a news watcher. I really don't pay attention to the political arena. I don't watch for what's going on anymore. I just don't care as much as I used to. I don't want to know what's going on as much. It doesn't seem to have any effect on my life either way. And I know some people may find that hard to swallow because some people are really into the news. But unless, you know, there's nothing I'm probably going to do to change it on my own. I'm not that individual who's going to run into the 
run in there and just make changes. You know, I don't have that kind of following. I'm not that kind of person. So it's going to be whatever it's going to be. For the most part, I think we try to vote. We make try to make whatever changes we can make by voting. And we try to make our voices be heard in that retrospect. So. All in all, it's just another day in November of 2024. Present mileage on the bike, 50,567 miles on the odometer. And I'm Moose, and I'm on my way to work oh, once again.